I got a hold of a couple brushless motors from X Heli, and these are the T10A brushless motors. There's two that I got a hold of, and one is a 3300 kV motor, and the other one is a 3700 kV motor. And I uh, ran both of these on my Eagle Tree logger. Um, just to look at the uh, free spin RPM, comparing the uh, advertised versus the empirically measured KV. And the 3300 came out pretty much at 3300, very close. The 3700 came out closer to 3800 KV, so a little bit higher RPMs. And of course, free spinning with the higher RPMs, it's a uh, little more current free spinning. But uh, these came with the uh, the screws to fit into the mounts. Uh, they did not come with bullet connectors, so I put these three and a half millimeter bullet connectors on myself. So if you get these motors, they're not going to come with those. You're going to have to put those on yourself. And I'm going to give these a try in a EXI 450 just to see how well they perform. And my basic comparison is going to be to an Alpha 400 motor and uh, a, an Align 430L motor. Uh, both of those other motors are, are, you know, your basic sport motors. And I'm hoping that these will be a little bit more high performance, give me a little more gusto uh, when I'm flying around. So I'm going to give these a try. One thing I want to add that I do like about the these motors is that the spacing at the very top here, um, when you put in a fastener, your screw onto the mounting plate, there's plenty of room. I know in some motors it's it's pretty close. I know my 430L, I had to put a nut on top of the the screw so that the uh, the screw didn't go all the way in into where the uh, uh, the coils are. So there's there's more than enough spacing here, and it also has this uh, uh, fan uh, cooling fan on the bottom of the motor. That's a nice little feature. Uh, more motors are coming with those nowadays, and it also of course has the dual spacing. It's got the wide spacing plus the narrow spacing of the screws there. So whatever mount that you have, if yours is wider or narrow, then it'll have it. This is a 3.17 millimeter shaft, uh, so you got to get a hold of your own pinion for that. And it already comes with a flat on it, which is nice. Uh, already filed down with a flat on the shaft. That's cool. <laughs> So I've put some time on these uh, T10A motors. I had the 3300 kV motor in this uh, $39 plastic and metal uh, EXI 450 that belongs to a friend of mine. 
and I've got the 3700 KV T10A motor in an upgraded Blu-ray and so the 3300 KV motor I had a 12T pinion and ran a flat 100% throttle curve and idle up and I was getting somewhere around 2700 RPMs pretty decent uh, for sport flying for that particular helicopter that's how this helicopter is, uh, is set up for sport flying and this other one is set up with a 11T pinion uh, that's kind of a low pinion I've got a flat throttle curve pretty much for simple basic um, flips and loops and rolls and that kind of stuff um, I can do some aerobatics with it and um, I'm not really pushing the motor too hard uh, but in both cases the motors performing better than the original Alpha 400 which was pr a pretty good sporty little motor these have a little more oomph a little more power to it uh, as long as you have a good battery, I'm running 25 or 30 C batteries with them, um, so I'm getting the, the oomph that I need out of them. With a uh, better motor like this, an upgraded motor, you really need that better battery in order to get much out of it, otherwise you're still going to bog on the high end. So if you want to run a, a higher RPM, maybe a, a slight V-curve in your throttle, then you're probably going to want to go with, uh, with a 3300 kV motor, maybe a 13T uh, pinion or higher, uh, and the with this particular motor, the 3700 kV motor, uh, it was kind of performing more like a 3800 kV motor when I was uh, sampling the RPMs on my Eagle Tree. Um, you could use a, uh, a 12 or a 13T pinion with that, get some more RPMs, uh, really get even more uh, power and oomph out of your uh, your punch outs. But overall, I'm pleased with the performance of these motors as an upgrade to the Alpha 400 motors. They're uh, performing very consistent. Uh, once again, these shafts on these motors use a, a 317 pinion, so the pinion that you have on your Alpha is not going to work on these. So if you're upgrading from the Alpha 400, you're going to need to get a, um, a different shaft pinion. And a very important thing is these started off with a uh, little rate, uh, it said Raiden um, on them on a label. And uh, in one case, I uh, flew it and I heard a big buzzing sound, and it turned out that the label was uh, peeling off. The sound eventually stopped, but uh, I think you ought to remove that label so it doesn't get caught up in your gears. I know with the Alpha 400s, I remember to uh, remove the label, and this I forgot to do that on one of the. Uh, helicopter so I got this buzzing sound in flight thought there was something wrong and actually it was just the label peeling off so go ahead and remove that label maybe scratch on the uh, the motor what what it is the KV or something like that in case you forget that'd be a good idea but it, it would be pretty important to remove that label otherwise it's going to come off all on its own